بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Now the next thing will I'll try to quickly cover up about the preparation because now uh, like I said in the previous section I have covered about the level of understanding what you need to have probably you will be spending around 10 10 hours of learning that's the first step where you have to learn understand the concepts and of course you need to spend some additional time for practicing and the revising the concepts what you learn and probably the the third step is you need to expertise expertise means every week again additional 10 hours of time you will be dedicating for to make sure that you revise the concepts redo the labs every week and try to do some additional labs or refer some additional references see the more you the more you spend the time in learning the more you gain the knowledge obviously but that's a minimum thing you know one two uh, three these are the levels you need to keep in mind okay so the next thing i'll quickly cover up the preparation like now you are done with the training let's say you are done with the ccna training maybe uh, one month or and you are done with the ccnp training probably the ccnp enterprise or any any course or maybe sd man or whatever the course so once you are done with the training and once you are finished with those then now this number of hours will uh, increase depending upon the other courses like like if i'm talking about sd van or or if you're talking about five power the advanced courses the number of hours will automatically increase whether it is a cci course all those things now the next thing is now you will be preparing for the interviews right of course you will still do it here but that is more kind of a revision not on that or you also you also uh, may be preparing for examinations exams so certification exam because most of the time it's really important for you to make sure that you clear the exams interview a uh, specific company point of view they they generally want to get certified of course the company has their own benefits of having certified candidates or maybe uh, for the interviews also so you have to prepare the practice questions now this is something most of the people don't do most of the people they don't do that the problem is they just uh, simply uh, understand the concepts and do the lab practice and maybe they just revise the complete book every week whatever the three steps i covered in the previous section they just do that but practice questions are very important to sharp your skills you know sharp sharpening your skill generally uh, you know sharpening like there, there is a specific uh, code you know when you are uh, trying to cut down the tree you need to spend more time in you know sharpening the axe you know i don't remember the exact phrase but a similar way if you you need to make sure that you sharp your skills that is very important whatever the skills you have acquired in the course whatever the skills you have acquired during the training or whatever the lab practice you did you need to make sure that you sharp those skills now for that you have to prepare this practice question now generally people also call it as exam dumps or whatever i don't really use that name because dumps refers to a term used for the exact questions some people will sell like there are 70 questions in the exam they sell 200 300 questions pass gandhi those kind of things i generally don't uh, uh, i'm not suggesting that right now for the but again that is one option you can uh, see if you if you want to clear the exams but again these practice questions are typically a uh, topic wise questions if you see my ccna i have already covered those questions in in the playlist let me show you that there are some topics wise questions which you need to which will take you to the expertise level now there are specific websites you can refer to uh, for the ccna level there is a specific website called nineduty.com so this is the website which you can refer to now you can also take a membership if you want uh, to see the complete questions now in this you will have the questions based on topic wise you can you can simply go to the specific website and you can see let's say if you want to uh, do some kind of ipv6 tutorial then you can see what is ipv6 and then you know all these things even you'll find the if you take an account again if you if you just take an account let's say a premium membership now basically this premium membership will include multiple other things like all the tutorial uh, knowledge like if you see the section example you can see uh, specific things something like this more in detail 
of course, the, this is basically uh, covers everything. And even you will see there are plenty of people around the world are connected that will help you. So basically, uh, like scenario based questions. Now, see, scenario based questions are very important for you to expertise. Because most of the time when you face interviews, they will be testing you based on the scenario. Because when you do the training, the thing is, the training is simply straightforward. Whatever the training you do, whether I am teaching or someone else is teaching training labs, these are more simple and straightforward. So the main reason behind it is to make sure that you understand the concepts. We don't complex, we don't merge the things. We don't, uh, of course, I do that in the mock labs. Uh, if you check the mock lab sections where I did, but the scenario based questions will definitely help you to expertise. And even if you take the membership, generally you will see uh, it also includes uh, the some kind of quiz questions which will help you to for the CCN exams or the practice labs. Also, you can find if you see the example here, there will be a practice labs. I think the packet tracer kind of labs or GNS3 based labs. You can download these labs and you can practice. If you're not sure what is EHRP, read this. Even you can refer these basic labs. Of course, majority of these labs anyway we did in our training section as well. But just for your understanding, I'm just quickly showing you. Now, even if you take the membership, the, the questions will, will be uh, useful. Let me uh, open up the practice questions, what I have shared in my CCNA as well. Now, even if you just uh, take an example of the CCNA links, uh, in that we have shared the workbooks. And in that workbook section, there are, there are specific uh, packet tracer files, even the CCNA exam files. Now, majority of the questions, like I said, we took it from here. Now, if you open up any of these files, like CCNA new questions or exam tutorials, uh, these are simulations, GNS3 labs, uh, CCNA exam questions. If you open up any PDF, if I can open up and view here, you'll see majority of the questions like uh, extracted from there only. So, so basically this will help you to go through with it. Now, this is all CCN exam. Like you can see what is, which network topology used. Section one, the basic questions. You can see some of the basic questions. Topic wise, you'll see. Now, majority of the time, we don't really go with these things. We just stop. Like the, if you take the simple example here, this one. Now, this question says, how many broadcast domains? I think what it is the question here. Uh, which of the following statement describe the graphic? Now, this graphic indicates that, you know, this is a hub. Hub is having one collision domain and the switch is having the collision domain depending upon the number of ports, like one, two, three, four, five, six, and total seven. There are seven collision domains, right? And there are seven collision domains in the network. That is F is the answer. And how many broadcast domains? Uh, hub will have only one broadcast domain. Of course, there is no VLAN, so there are two broadcast domains here, A and F. Now, this is very important. These are scenario-based questions. And most of these scenario-based questions you will find in the interviews or even in the interviews or in the exams. And generally, people don't refer these questions simply saying that I'm not preparing for any exam, so I don't need. But these are very important, like the format, Ethernet format, you know, these things. You don't really learn each and everything in the courses. But at then you will need to add some additional skill set which is required for you to know. Let me take another example here. Now, here you can see this is the example, how many broadcast domains. Or you'll see plenty of, you know, if you scroll down, there are plenty of scenario-based questions you'll find. So mostly the same uh, type of questions you can find here as well. That's what, if you take a subscription or even if you don't want to go with a subscription for CCNA, the links which I have shared, that will be sufficient again. A similar way, if you're preparing for CCNP Enterprise, like Encore exam, the same similar site, you have a digitaltut.com. That's a digital TUT. Anyway, I'm going to drop in. Uh, for the CCI also, I'll try to cover up in a separate video for the CCI uh, plan as well. If you are planning for CCI later on. And similar way, you have you have the same thing. For SD-WAN, there is a certprepare.com. Now, the good thing about this is you have a separate for this. This is good for enterprise level. Like on the right side, if you come down, there is a CCNA, Encore, and then this is for SD-WAN, for SD-WAN, and this is for, this is for the SD-WAN only, the same thing. Uh, NRC, Enterprise Advanced Routing, 
this is networktut.com for this sale there's a networktut.com for the ccnp enterprise paper if you are going for and likewise if you are going for devnet and so this is not really good site for the other other papers like especially for security or other things but uh, still good to go there is a securitytut.com again if you are preparing for security based interview questions especially the s core exam the s core exam for C security even for the same you have a service portal for the same as well i think they do have a service portal website as well So this site is dedicated for service product drive. We have find information here. I don't see anything. SPTUT.com basically doesn't open up anything. Okay. Now here you can see there's an SP core. SP core here. SP core SPTUT.com. Please share with your experience. So basically, this is more kind of a blog. I don't know whether you can uh, just connect with them because I never use for this service product of these things. But uh, for CCN and CCNP, this is a very good option you can go with. Okay. So, but at the end, the main thing is you need to make sure that you uh, work on these practice questions because these are the typical uh, practice questions what you generally face in the interviews. Okay. And trust me, you know, when you face interviews, you you look it looks very easy for you, the interviews, because the level of questions what you generally practice here, that is far beyond higher level than what you generally face in the interviews or in the exams. So it looks very easy for you at the end. The problem is we don't try to uh, implement at that level. That's a challenge, okay? So whatever the interview it is, if it is relevant interview, then definitely I can assure you that once you go through with this, you'll be in a position to easily clear. And of, of course, you will get much more confidence as well. The problem is we don't get too much of confidence in facing the interviews because technically we are not that level. So you have to make sure that you do that level. So this is the second thing or the last thing you have to do. Of course, as I said, the, the 30 hours of regular training or 10 hours of training or videos, whatever the source you are learning from. And of course, the revise and practice. Uh, keep on practicing and of course, the revise weekly revision kind of thing of all the topics or the module or a big module. Let's say you completed the routing or OSPF. You have to make sure that you revise the complete OSPF or routing or switching, whatever the topic you have completed, topic revision. So this is a minimum. And the fourth step is this one. The fourth step is the final thing. This is more kind of a sharpening your skills, whatever you have acquired. Uh, CCN and CCNP level. Of course, for the CCN level, the plan is a little bit different. Of course, you have to spend more time on, on the labs and all. 